Alright guys, what's going on? Skippy here, and uh, it's been a while since I've actually put up a video, so this is the first one in a while, um, and the reason for that is, well, I sort of fell away from making videos um, for a little while, I just kind of got bored with it or something, I don't really remember, um, I just couldn't find time, something like that, something stupid like that, but uh, anyways, summer's here, I got a new terabyte external hard drive to store all my videos on, so I don't have to uh, worry about clogging up my computer with all of them and uh, so you know I guess I'm getting back into making videos a little bit and hopefully they'll be uh, coming out a little more regularly so uh, this game I'm playing I've decided to uh, at least put out a few videos of it see how it goes is um, Sword of the Stars the pit and it is a uh, roguelike dungeon crawler you know a basic deal only sort of in a sci-fi setting and so we get to pick through, I think, five classes here. Um, it is with the DLC. It's a game on Steam. I think it's maybe about ten bucks or so. And then there's like a five buck uh, DLC with two more classes, enemies, items, stuff like that. So, um, I just played a Marine. I haven't actually played much of this game. I've played a little bit of it. But from what I've gathered, the Marine is sort of the guy who's you know just really good at killing stuff. Engineer is good at lock picking. Uh, you know, sort of scavenging. Uh, stuff like that he can he's good at getting into things and he's good with uh, pistols I believe stuff like that and he can modify stuff just good with technology basically uh, the scout I believe I don't think she's anything super special she's good at pistols and I think she's just good at sort of like staying alive I'm not really sure about her uh, the scion is one of the new classes he has special abilities that's a new thing now you can get apparently like psionic abilities uh, I haven't played him, so I have no idea really. And then the Ranger, I have no idea about either. Um, so she starts with a heavy pistol, bypass circuits. And I've barely played this game, so it's like I don't even know what half of the stuff does or how to do it. So um, let's see. Um, I just played a Marine, so why don't I play an Engineer? And then, uh, yeah, I already finished a game, so I didn't have any. All right, so here we are. Um, I can zoom in stuff three different zoom levels but um ooh, I should have set myself to busy uh, hold on there we go okay okay so we can go into our inventory here it's got a little uh, square based inventory so the first thing I'm gonna do is assign our weapons here to slot so we don't have to mess with our inventory every time we want to switch and we have a lockpick set which will give us a bonus when we train lockpick stuff um, a med patch which is I think instant health Ballistic repair kit, so we can repair our gun. Repair kit for a uh, knife. Uh, motion sensor to light up the presence of moving monsters in a large area around the user. Place in a ready bar to activate. Okay, so it's sort of like a UAV almost kind of deal. Digital assistant. I think it helps with computer skill when we try and hack things. Electronic toolkit repair things around. Um. Turn med kit does what you'd think. Uh, rations, food. All right. Okay. And so here we have health, um, sonic points. So I guess kind of like mana, and uh, food. So we gotta make sure our guy doesn't get too hungry. So we'll start searching these rock piles, and we've already run into some bad baddies. This first floor shouldn't be too bad. We'll probably be able to uh, melee most things that attack us. Um, that's what I've sort of gathered, and we can just spend it sort of trying to scavenge up ammo, because, ooh, acid spray trap, right, we got to try and avoid that. And like most ro roguelikes, um, a lot of things are sort of randomly um, given properties, so like, there's traps on doors that, um, like, all the traps are colored, so... You know, each playthrough, the colors are going to be different for each kind of trap, and you have to sort of experiment to figure out what they all do. So I'm just going to kill these guys. And it also has RPG elements so that we uh, level up. You can see my XP bar going across there, the yellow bar on the bottom there. And that's basically it. We try and get, I don't remember how many fours there are, but I think the story is something like this in a infected like science research facility that we're like exploring trying to get like an antidote or something from I'm not really sure doesn't really matter story isn't a huge deal for roguelikes alright 
so now we leveled up, and so we get uh, points to spend on various things. Um, seeing as how we're an engineer, I believe we already have a bit of a bon yeah we have a bit of a bonus in brains already, with uh, finesse being a close second. And really, those are the two things we're going to focus on, because it's really not worth our time to try and catch up on might or uh, psi powers, just because you don't level up enough to really um, compensate enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another point in brains and another point in finesse. Start off fairly well-rounded. We'll probably be going closer to finesse uh, later on, because we'll be running out of our knife and having to use our pistol more, and we'll want to be able to deal more damage with our pistol. So, um, let's look here. We have quite a few good level skills already with brains, so we might want to just... What was that noise? I heard like a beep. Oh, well, um, you might want to just do some finesse things. Medical, forge... Oh, we might... Let's level up our forge one. And then... It's all size stuff. Um, we'll level up our pistol. We have three more points, so we'll do lockpick, and we have one more point to spend, and we'll put that in knife. Alright. Oh, whoops. Pressing the wrong buttons here. Okay. So here we go. Oh, and also there's a map. I'll be checking that a lot because I don't have a good mental map of the area. So I'll need that to uh, know where I am. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. But yeah. So this is it. Um, oh my gosh. I, okay, calm down. Just go slow. There we go. So another rot pile up here. And it's actually been updated a couple times since last I played it. Like this little uh, thing up here wasn't going on. And I know, I think it was Total Biscuit did like a WTF fizz over this, but it's a pretty fun game. Uh, I definitely would recommend it if you're into roguelikes, because it's pretty fun. And it's got a lot of the sort of RPG elements, and there's, you know, some crafting for basic foods, which, um, when we get to it, I, you know, you guys will see. But it's honestly, um, you don't come across it that often, and you sort of have to use, like, use and learn recipes. But from what I t can tell, uh, recipes actually carry over between characters, which is really nice, but they're also, like, just a lot more rare. So, but yeah, I'm not totally sure how this sort of series is going to go. I mean, I plan on uploading a few videos. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Um, Alright. Uh, do we have anything? I know... S what's that? We have a basic grenade, but I'm right next to them, so... Alright, we're going to have to, I think, just take some hits here. Ow, okay. Oh my gosh. Let's move down, shoot it again. Move down, shoot it again. Alright, we killed it. But now there's still tons of other stuff around us. Oh my gosh. Okay, um. Let's equip the grenade. And we will throw it up. Oh gosh, right there, I guess. There. I think we killed most of the stuff. Oh my gosh, no, there's still a lot of things. Okay. This is not going well. And like most roguelikes, it totally can screw you over. <laughs> uh, like at the very beginning. Okay, use this. I was planning on just using videos alright, well we actually heal ourselves there we have poisoned anti-venom, we'll use that get rid of the poison okay so now I think things are a little more manageable um, there we go okay oh, well, that was uh, that was fun okay um, we can probably get this on our own Excellent. yes and we got a ballistic repair kit, sweet Oh, I probably should have killed that thing first. There we go. It's a little annoying because it takes two hits to kill him, but, you know, usually they only do, like, one damage per thing, so... Should reload our pistol. Ooh, what's that? 
poison gas trap. We have 64 rounds with it, but I'm still saving that for bigger things, right? So we leveled up again. And I think XP that you need uh, goes up sort of exponentially or whatever with each level. So, um, we're actually going to do two points in finesse this time. Uh, we'll get another point in knife, because we're still using it quite a bit. Get a point in pistol. Um, definitely another in lock picking. Lock picking is extremely useful. Um, probably not in that. We'll get one in. Uh, foraging and what else? I guess computer. Okay, what's that? Uh oh. Okay, we got this. We got a strangler. These guys can be tough. He's choking us. Alright, we got him, we got him. Crap. Jesus. Oh! That was crappy. Damage console. We can probably repair this. 84%, we better be able to repair it anyways. Alright, we got it. So now, uh, we'll use the computer skill to retrieve the data. And this is a uh, thing when you get like messages and recipes and stuff, you have to decrypt them most of the time. And, you know, that's by your inlet. Well, actually, I'll show you here. See, here's some other ones that I decrypted uh, according to my skill. Like that one, I didn't decrypt as much or as successfully. So, we got 55%. Uh, okay. We got surgical uh, 22, resupply, do the unfortunate mixing of disease, extracted scent glands, subject in lab, or mad and devoured. In we also need bot stat. Okay, so it sounds like through an unfortunate mixing of disease extract and scent glands, whatever they were working on went crazy and started attacking scientists or something and they needed like a med, med bot or something. Huh. So it's a bit of a backstory, I guess. Nothing uh, particularly, particularly useful. Oh, I should reload here. That's one thing gotta get in the habit of doing is reloading at every open opportunity because if there's anything I've learned just from my very limited amount of time with this game it's that getting caught without bullets in the clip is very unfortunate okay we will pick this lock there we go alright this guy we sh ah, I'm just gonna shoot him yeah because those they're they're a little tougher than normal rats and we have a decent amount of ammo. I mean, it'll it'll run out quick, but and you may be saying, why are you picking that door? Well, because it helps level up the. Oh god. Okay, this is a tough one. Oh god. Okay, we killed him. Nice. 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 All right. Reload again. He did hurt though. Hurt us pretty badly. All right. Is there anywhere? We explored everywhere else, so I'm just gonna jump down. Got it. These little worms. Alright, now see, here's a door trap. Now this can do one of many things. Most of them, I think, hinder us. But there are some that, you know, refill health or uh, nutrition or something. So whatever this is, we have to remember that blue door traps do it. And it induces madness. Okay. <laughs> um, and there's a ghost maker right there. Okay. Well, we're going to shoot that. I don't know what madness does. Um, it won't tell me either. Oh, all right, we could probably take this maintenance spot. Okay, now that there's another one, we probably can't take him. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think any of those are real. Did you see how they disappeared? I think it's making up enemies. God, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, look at this. Look at all these guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's happening? Uh. Oh 
gosh. Uh, gotta reload. This might be the end. Oh my gosh, this was not my round. This game is just... Ugh, oh, okay. Ooh, gotta use a med kit on that. Try and use these sparingly. Ooh, okay. No, you go away. Go away right now. Switch to a knife then. Gosh, man. This game is so unforgiving. And our knife is uh, about to break. That's great. It does have durability. Ah, crap. I gotta get out of this fight so I can repair things. I think I pulled like every stinking creature in the, the level. Gosh. Are we done here? Nope. All right, there's a cooking station. Open the ammo crate, please. Energy cell. We don't need energy cells. Alrighty. Now, we can actually... Uh, no. Should you... Repair the knife. Yes. Alrighty. It's fully repaired. Sweet. Okay, uh, we'll use this cooker. Is there anything we can make? You see, no, this is the thing. Here's our um, recipes. So in order to get cooked meat, we use raw meat. And in order to get a salt switch, we use uh, war bread and cooked meat. And we can also, with other things, like purify and uh, make food safer to eat. But right now I don't think we have anything here. And I don't want to waste things when I don't know what they make. So um, we're gonna go down here. Uh oh. Shoot him. There we go. Alrighty. Ooh, yes, he dropped a lot of pistol rounds too. Eight. It's a full clip, full clip. Digital assistant. Yeah, let's do that. So we can get in here, maybe get some uh, cooking supplies. Alright. Ooh, sweet. We got an easy cooker. It's like a basically a portable uh, cooking station. Let's try and repair this recharging hub, even though I don't... Oh. Okay, well that failed. Alright, let's go down here. Locked. I think you can try lockpicking two times, and then the third time if you fail it... Uh, I'm not sure if the door permanently locked... Oh, crap. Poison gas trap then it uh, fails and there's an alarm triggered I think and maybe the door locks down I think Simba? What? Uh, what's that? Stun grenade. Okay, have to remember that. Oh, we should use anti-venom. Oh, it only took it down a level. Crap. Mm. And the med kit didn't heal it. So I'm not really sure what we can do what we can do now except maybe wait for it to go away. Effects of the poison have been reduced, okay. Um we'll just go up here then. I'm losing might apparently from this poison. Oh crap. And here's a situation where I wish I had reloaded. Now I have to reload, and those things are just going to get closer. And this poison is still eating at me. And I'm taking a bunch of hits from these guys. Oh. Oh, okay. That white door trap just uh, increased my speed. Sweet. And I think the poison just uh, wore out. Sweet. So now we can make more moves before uh, other creatures can make moves. So we got right, rifle rounds, but we don't have a rifle. Oh, we should level up before we uh, do this, so we don't waste any experience or anything. And I don't know if that happens, but it's uh, worth thinking about. All right, so we'll put one in each, and we'll definitely put another in pistol. Um, another in lockpick. We should probably upgrade. 
deciphering a little. There we go. Uh, I'll put another knife. And we'll get another in foraging, I believe. Now we have one more we'll medical. Now let's put it in computer. There we go. Computer will help us get into more advanced stuff. Ready? We got ooh, another lockpick set. Sweet. Even though our lockpick skill is already pretty good. Oh, here's a pink door trap. Uh, let's shoot this guy before we go in. Because it cause problems. Okay, pink hurts. Pink hurts us. So we should keep in mind now. We're going to grind the uh, lockpicking skill a little bit here. Perfect. Level it up. Every little bit helps. Is the name of the RPG game. All right, so blue induces madness, I believe, if I uh, remember correctly. So we should try and stay away from blue. And I think it was hallucinating enemies because there was a couple enemies that I killed right there, if you noticed, um, that just sort of disappeared. They didn't fall down and die. And so it makes me think that they were like um, illusions or halluc oop, hallucinations. Right, they've took some damage there, but it's okay. We have the repair kit. Okay, we can take hits from these guys. They don't hurt that bad. There we go. And here's a charging hub that we can hopefully repair. No. In fact, it just shocked us. Alright, so we're going to have to use another med kit, unfortunately. Uh, we're kind of blowing through those. All right, upgrade the lockpick skill a little more. Always useful. And um, let's see, is there any uh, down here and to the right? Some more stuff that we haven't explored yet. Should we sh ah, so we should go there. What's down here? There's a purple trap over there. Definitely interesting. I'm just gonna shoot these guys because I don't want to mess with them. Probably start using my pistol more. Let's see if we can't unlock this door and find out what this trap does. Nothing, apparently. That's odd. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever seen a trap that does nothing. Seems like sort of a waste. Alright, reload. And a rock pile. That went well. What do we find? Tainted meat. Alright, so now if we find like a purifier or whatever, we can make that uh, clean meat. And there's another one. Sweet. And I think we actually already have some uh, moldy bread, so all we need is a purifier or whatever, and we can start making some sandwiches, whatever the sandwiches deals, because we already have uh, an easy cooker. There we go. Um, damaged locker, ruined tool set. So neither of those are going to be helpful to us. Shoot him, and then we'll reload. I'm not going to open that door just yet. Because uh, it could lead to an ambush. Maybe the first uh, few rounds in a level should be spent clearing out enemies. Otherwise you just get mauled by them like I am now. Oh, out of ammo. Gotta reload. Crap. He infected me. Okay. Probably should have just meleeed him instead of uh, trying to shoot him and reloading. Alright. Now, this is a situation where we should back up and then reload. Shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, acids are eating my inventory, and I'm getting really hungry right now, so this is kind of bad. Um, I'm going to eat these rations. Get our hunger back up a little bit. And then we'll use some med patches. Alright, we'll shoot. Oh, he's out of range. Shoot him. No, okay, shoot him again. There we go. Alrighty. I was just about to say that was probably most of the things in the level, but apparently not. Back up. Shoot. Oh my gosh. 
hit him. Hit him. <laughs> right in front of you and you can't shoot him? Oh my gosh. This guy is useless. Jeez. This pistol kind of sucks though, too. Electronic parts. It has a tiny clip. Alright, let's see if we can't repair this hub. God, why can't we repair these things? We just spent, like... It was three of them, and we're, you know, we're well over 50% chance of repairing. I don't understand why we can't kill them. What is that? So they would talk a fungi bar? A fungi bar. Huh. Is there anything in here? That was useful. Yeah, there's a rock pile. Not my best day. Didn't find anything though. Let's open this lock. Oh! There is an enemy. Bindings and bone slivers. Crafting items, I believe. Let's see what's up here. That was a long hallway. Uh, secure ammo crate. Alright. Please be pistol. Yes. Energy and pistol ammo. We needed that. Alright. Oh, we should reload. Alrighty. Um, just gotta go down and to the right then. And let's see if there's anything over here. All right, there's another white one. I believe that heal. No, it blinded us this time. I didn't do that last time. Crap. Well, I hate getting blinded because now we can't see anything. And there's usually stuff that attacks you. Yep. There we go. Um. Crap. Where am I? I can barely see the outlines of stuff. Ow. Oh gosh. How are they... I think I damaged it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die like this. Oh. Great. I'm dead. Oh jeez, killed by one of those things. Alright, well, that was our first delve into uh, the pit. Uh, not the most successful thing. Really, we kind of got screwed over by the whole the whole game. Uh, did not like us. We were constantly getting mauled, which is not the best thing to be happening to an engineer. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, go ahead and uh, like, comment, whatever, and um, I'll see you guys later.